Well, it looks like it went right on to them because the wheel of fortune says otherwise, says this is over. You won't be doing this no more. So now they want this to keep going. Some of you, this could be a court case or somebody at a job about to get fired. Somebody about to get in trouble here with this Hierophant card. Yeah, Nine of Swords, they're sad. Ah, I told you. Hey there, welcome to Reading Journey. I am Journey. Hi, let me peek in. I'm doing a reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Sign in North Node of a Libra. So Libra, before I started your reading, I heard, I don't, I don't want to die is what I heard. Um, and what was the other thing I heard? There's something going on. Someone has been doing something energetically. Okay. This may not be for all of you for sure. But somebody, I'm also hearing fight back. So I feel like you've been fighting back. So some, someone here has been having some type of fight in the spiritual realm. You've been doing some spiritual work. Um, and you know if this is you or not. Um, somebody, yeah, something's going on here. So <laughs> let me go ahead and get myself prepared. Chat, 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 chat. I, I, no, I'll do some more cleaning after, but we'll go ahead and get into this, Libra. It's a whole ass mess. This card is, at, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, are these cards reversed? Hold on, sweetheart. I think they are. Let me see. Oh, they are. So, yeah, so the Wheel of Fortune, that should be upright. Um, Somebody doesn't want something to end. I feel like, I, this is very specific. I do feel like it's somebody who's been messing around in somebody's energy. And whoever this Libra is, it looks like they picked the wrong one. Because this Libra knows how to fight back. This Libra is, Libra, I'm hearing too, is no longer afraid to fight back. I don't, I don't know if you ever were af actually afraid, Libra. I feel like you may not have known what was going on. If this is somebody in work life, I mean, work life balance, this could be somebody also in your work life who has been trying to, I'm getting the word sabotage, sabotage you like child, some of them coworkers, they be acting crazy, man. When I was out there in that, in that corporate world, they crazy. So I know what you're going through child. They, yeah. They need some help out there. They do. Um, but Somebody here is trying to pretty much, I, I'm even here to destroy. This person is wicked. I feel their energy. That's why I don't understand how you're going to sit here and say, I don't want to, what it was that I said? I don't want to die. So I wonder if they, that tells me then they probably, I haven't looked and got evidence from that yet. There's some type of passing on uh, spells to get you out of here. And now, now they don't want to, they, so basically here's my, here's my little spiel. Here's my little 45 cent. Don't dish it out if you can't take it. And see, this is what it is. This person, I guess they never thought it was going to happen to them. Or I'm also getting a feeling of like, they didn't really believe in what they were doing. They didn't believe that it was really true or they were trying to convince themselves that they weren't really. So this could be somebody new to the game. Um, this could be somebody new who who's explored out or been asking people to do work on you or who has been doing work on you. And they didn't really think, really thought it worked. And if it did work, they were going to try it on you. Well, it looks like it went right on to them because the wheel of fortune says otherwise, says this is over. You won't be doing this no more. So now they want this to keep going. Some of you, this could be a court case or somebody at a job about to get fired. Somebody about to get in trouble here with this Hierophant card. Yeah, Nine of Swords, they're sad. Ah, I told you. Nine of Swords and the Magician. They've been doing something. Somebody's been doing stuff energetically to you. And they thought it wasn't going to work. 
or like I said, trying to convince themselves it wasn't work or wasn't going to work or trying to convince themselves that they were doing nothing wrong. And then if it went wrong, if something did happen, well, it happened to you. Good. But <laughs> Jesus, I cannot. so they were testing it out on you, but they weren't testing it out. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? But I see four, four, four on the clock. You've been protected the whole time. They also have gotten to see that you're protected, how the divine pr protects his own. And also how people out here are not just who you think they are. Just because they might be, because this could be somebody, brother or sister, just because they look like they were your brother and sister or little brother and sister. And they looked uh, just a regular schmegular human form to you, like they can't do anything in the spiritual world. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Often I'm hearing that, oh, okay, I, I, I believe that too. My guides are telling me those are often the strongest ones. All right. So first, I didn't even do, introduce myself. Hey, I'm Journey. Welcome to Reading Journey. I'm clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient, meaning I can hear, see, feel energies. I can also smell energies. I dream dreams and can interpret as well as have visions. I don't need the cards. The cards are here as a visual for you. And sometimes I just be honest, they make my life a little bit easier. Okay. I apologize for the sniffles ahead of time because the seasons are changing over. All right. Let's take a look. I feel like you're, you got some type of gift. That's why I pulled out this deck today. Archangel deck. That deck is the, what is this deck? Shit. The guilt. No. What is that? Sun and Moon Tarot. And we got the soul's journey. Let's see if we're gonna gonna use those or not. But let's see. I'm hearing clearly they picked the wrong one. Ooh, okay. So your guys are not happy about this shit. Somebody's closing out a cycle for sure. I'm feeling that. Not hell. Because you're here, you're either you could be an indigo child, crystal child, um, some type of healer, shaman. Um, you could do Reiki. You do something that you do. You can help people heal by coaching with your voice. You could be just, you know, just something out here where you are helping people or that's a part of your path that's coming up soon that you're not aware of yet. Also, y'all keep in mind, these readings are not monetized. So to get the video to other people like yourself, hit that like button or share it. That would definitely help because when it's not monetized, that means I don't get paid, which is fine. But the work must be done. I don't do this for the pay. Um, YouTube could never pay me enough for the shit I have to put up with. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Let's stop picking up on people's energies and stuff. Child, please. But anyway, I do it because the work must be done. And again, to help out the channel, that would truly help. You don't have to subscribe, but I definitely would like you to like or, or share it. Okay? So what's going on with this person, sweet spirit? Golly, Libra, we starting live today. What the hell? Oh, Libra. Just stand firm, honey. I know I know you already are. You've already been dealing with these folks. And I really hope that everything gets taken out of your life very soon. I will be putting out a request for you. Standing with you on that. Because I know you've done nothing wrong. And these are the Libras that don't be doing spells on people. Ain't out here trying to hurt nobody. They're out here trying to heal people. So you've got some type of career transition taking place. Could be taking place around a moon cycle, some type of moon cycle. So a full moon um, for someone, the eclipse or a new moon. It's because of your patience. You've been learning something this entire time, though. It wasn't wasted. The universe is using it for, um, uh, they're using it for their glory for lack of better terms. They're using it to help you. Your glory is their glory, okay? You are them and they are you, all right? I think you understand me. Outdoors, continue to get outdoors. If you have not, go outside. It says go outside, get some fresh air, connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So continue to go outdoors. I feel like you've already been, but if not, get outdoors, have fun. You don't have to, it don't have to be just in the woods. It can be to a nice little coffee shop. It can be to all types of things, you know, where you feel comfortable or you feel relaxed. Somebody, I mean, jazz music, listen to jazz music. If you are a jazz fan, go for it. All right. 
Tell me about this person. I want to know, like, what is this about this person? They did show me that other deck. Maybe I need to pull that one, too. Hold on. Maybe yours is going to get a little bit long. I'm going to try to keep it short. Angel therapy. Yeah, you're here to, you're like an earth angel, okay? For lack of better words. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to hit the camera. You're here to help people. You're here to pe help people heal. Just like I said, um, your angels are working with you as well. And they're saying, give your cares over to the angels. Continue to work with the angels. If you're not working with your angels or your guide team or divine team or whatever you call them, continue to work with them. But that's what you're here. You're here to, again, yep, more talk to your angels. Continue to talk to your angels. The angels want to help you with this. Okay, there's a need to talk to your angels in this particular situation for someone. Especially if you feel like you're being defeated. I feel like most of you do not feel that way. The energy that I'm picking up right now. But there are some. This may be all new to you. This may be all new to you. Know that you are protected. Okay? You are protected. You are an angel. You're an earth angel. You're here to help people heal. And... um. Your angels, they will work with you. You just tell them what to do. Stand on what you say and don't back the fuck off. Don't, I don't care what it feels like, sounds like, looks like. Break that shit and keep it moving. Okay? Keep it moving because you are protective. You have the final say, I said, is what I'm hearing. You have the final say. Yeah, you're here to help people, counsel people. You're here to help people heal. I'm telling you in some type of way, whether it's speaking, touch, heal, something, something. And that's why something is trying to, and it's sad because this person or people are being used to come at you. They have no idea they're being used and they're going to have to pay for every single thing that they have done to you because whoever I'm talking to, you're requiring that. Cause I feel like somebody's like been told, oh, well, you know, even if you get something, it won't be anything bad. You'll get maybe like a cold or, you know, you'll recover from it. No, because whoever you are, you're like, no, nah, you're going to get all this stuff back. And then some, <laughs> oh, no, that's how I am too. Like, I don't play that. I don't play that. I don't play that. Time to decide. So someone, I'm trying to figure out. So it's time to put the power that you have, Libra, into, into, into work, into use. Call on your strength, okay? Call on your strength, stand on what you say, and don't back down on it. Don't change it. Once you, because I've got somebody here, what you have to understand is what you say will stand. This is just a hologram. That's all it is. That's all it is. And you can, I'm hearing clearly, you can send all that shit back. You just have to believe it. Get it so rooted in your subconscious. Whether you got to put it on walls, on sticky notes, and see it every day. To program it in your subconscious. Whatever, put words, you know, whatever the words that you want to say to yourself. To get this rooted in you. So this shit will dissipate. Because they are, they're coming at you. But they're just mad. They're just mad. Why are they coming at you? I got some feelings because I got my career love and uh, career oracle deck. But look, they're fearful. 13, 13 on the clock. They're scared. I'm here because you blocked them. So you blocked them already. So the ones that um, I've got two groups here, the Libras who know their power. Yeah, continue to stand on your power. Continue to do what you're doing. Your team has had enough. They're cycling this out for you. Somebody's going to court or something. They're going to jail or spiritually. They're going to their, the spiritual hell that they tried to create for you. Yeah, fearful. They're worried. Now somebody has, though, looks like they have gratitude for you. And they're going to grow from whatever this is. Someone's sick. This may not have happened yet. This gratitude yet for and growth for you. Gratitude yet and growth, that's coming. I feel like it's after they, I'm feeling sick. That I feel like somebody's sick. After they, so maybe they'll get out of this sickness. 
but it's up to them. They, they've got to make a decision. They've got to make a decision to finally. So I feel, okay. They got to make a decision to leave you alone. That's oftentimes how the universe works. The only way they're going to get out of this is if they decide to leave you alone. Then the gratitude and growth will come with that. If they do not, they're going to send themselves right on to hell or their own hell. With that red there, that's what's pointing out for me. They have to decide to let you go on your purpose. They have to learn to trust the divine and let things go. Learn to be honest. Stop blaming you for the choices that they made in their life. Stop blaming you because you have success and they don't. When they can have success, they'll get the success if they leave you alone. But somebody is so dead set on you, Libra, that you're the problem. You're the reason my life is like this. You're the reason my life is going this way when this has nothing to do with you at all. You're moving on anyway. Whether they... If they keep coming at you, fine. You're still moving. They be gonna come, they're going to be coming on to, they're going to be, um, wherever they're shooting at, they're shooting it at themselves or they're shooting blanks because you're going, you're moving towards your future. You're moving towards your future and they're trapping themselves. They're trapping themselves with their own magic. And it's sad because the universe has opportunities for them opportunities for them to cultivate and grow because you're not and they will they will protect them if they let this shit go this could be somebody very close to you this could be family member a lover a parent somebody doesn't want to let you go and be independent they don't want you to pass they feel like you uh you have to get their permission this is somebody very 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 controlling but you're gonna have to show them in here clearly you're gonna have to show them otherwise libra and that's by standing on what you're supposed to be standing on and keep moving forward. Keep standing, keep moving forward. Let this shit stay where it's at. Let this stay where it's at. So any type of thought or anything you hear, quickly squash that shit. Squash that shit. You may even have to stop listening to that shit wherever you're hearing it from. It could be from me. I'm also here to take your power back, Ace of Wands. Yeah, your angels are like, yeah, nah. Kill this illusion. Kill this illusion because it already failed. And these people are, people or person is, they're depressed. They failed. They're oppressed. Yeah, somebody, there's somebody here. Somebody going to jail. Somebody going to prison or something or spiritual prison because your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Somebody is good for you, Libra. You're going to become the queen of wands. You are, you are, you're going to stand on it. You're going to stand, call power. I don't know what you're going to do. Each person is different, but there's something you're doing to squash this thing. Good for you. And I see 55 on the clock. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I'm putting out, uh, I'm agreeing with you, Libra. Those of you who are just Y'all just out here doing your thing, being earth angels, ain't bothering nobody. And I love me some Libras. I don't know why I love Libras so much. I don't know any Libras, but I just love Libras. Libras is just cool as hell. You know what I'm saying? Libras are about justice, for goodness sake. What the hell you got a problem with justice for? That obviously shows you're an asshole. So anyway, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Let me shut up because I'm getting mean. Let me, let me get out this energy. Take care, sweetheart.